So, off to Novigrad then? Yeah, let's get going. Let's go. He's dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Your acorns? No idea. Path to the summit's clear. You can always go looking for them. Or just go home? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own. Humans. What it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Good of you two been. Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and the general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you would have busy mob then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. Have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to Crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the Ruby Suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the Ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. It looks like I'll have my hands full. How much 
Ah. Ah. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthier is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. And I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the ML. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Gels. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds. But me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Passage is here, past this wall. The passage is here, past this wall. The passage is here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, 
Wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful.
death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage. Place like this, someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. The snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Mm, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. 
You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eredin succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. Nobody's... I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crevana, Spain, at Coleman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Kept me. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Creva? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here... Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. 
No, but honesty's not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile. Won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. Even a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Amir of Mansa. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me.
Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalok knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat. But we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Add you discover him to City Corrin. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Make a deal, maybe? Uh, ah. Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. Shit. That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfell. You really didn't recognize me. Dudu? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's plate. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. Gods! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr. 
Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I had no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Doodoo. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. While these men are too stupid to catch on, his colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I... I get a bit carried away at times, but mostly I'm careful. Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire and sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Orson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. What's the problem? My house. Something haunts it. It howls, rattles chains, shatters plates. I fear I merely being there. I visited a city once that was very much like Nurgrim. Sort of but the is. people there were much spend taller no and amount of gold. dark skin. No. Sounds like a white world. or a puffbow. Fine. I'll tend to it. Thank you ever so much. Mm, a bit different. Come with me. It was hard I'll going show you the way. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. I only said my house was haunted. I could not know it was hunters. Mm -hmm. Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid. Especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty-handed. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunters to find the other two. I must flee now.
got here first. This is... Looking to win this to the temple. Ah. At last. You're here. Bees inside. Let's go. Give you a chance. Should have taken it. 
I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Draw your weapons. Let's get this over with. Whoa! What? You're out to hurt her. I won't let you. So we'll argue and swagger and have who knows how long a pissing contest. I don't have time for that. Draw your swords. God, I got you! Mistake! Thank you. I say more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Defender of the downtrodden. Hmm. Just so happens that I was just trodden upon head to toe. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to help me recover. Be you strumpet. Control yourself. This is Geralt. <laughs> Why didn't you say so to start with? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my! It's beautiful! Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. I do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Bravo, witcher! I can hear her for another ballad. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. So terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copy to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise. 
And thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so not to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it a pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Where you're going, or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know. Perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. At long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Hmm. Fairy tale life. But we gotta defeat the wild hunt first. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary.
problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. You granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. Believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. I don't know. Doesn't seem like the best idea. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bare. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bare. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! I must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables.
Woohoo! We did it! Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Glad to see you happy, but I don't think what we did was right. <laughs> how can you keep the company of such a bore? Leave him alone, Agar. That's just how Geralt is. Righteous. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt.